Worship the name of the Lord, somebody. Amen. Let me extend greetings to the household of faith. Amen. Accept salvation greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. We praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The devil would not want us to be here tonight. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. All throughout the week, I was okay. But as it come on to Monday night, Tuesday night, we start to get hoarse. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. But nevertheless, they know we're going to preach tonight until the voice give way. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Johnson! Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I don't want you to sit on me and look as if, amen. You don't know me, that's all right. If you don't know me, do you
Jesus. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Amen. The time has been far spent. Amen. But I just want to leave a word with you quickly in the house tonight. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Amen. So I'm just asking for 10 minutes of your time. Amen. I just drop a word quickly and get out of here. We praise the name of the Lord. Come on, we praise the name of the Lord. And I ask the to work with me here. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Rejoice in your infirmities. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Come on, you worship the name of the Lord. Amen. And yeah, I know you would have been hearing, amen, different speakers throughout the week, amen, telling you how to rejoice in your infirmity. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. But you see, the thing about the church of God, I can't identify your infirmity. Oh, come on, praise God, somebody. Come on, praise God, somebody. And you can't identify my infirmity. Oh, praise the name of Jesus, somebody. Amen. There are different types of infirmities. The church is not praising God. The church is not praising God. There are various types of infirmities. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. So when we analyze the text, church of God, amen, we realize that infirmities has a definite meaning towards it. Oh, can the church praise God? Let the church worship God. Amen. To, to, to have an infirmity, amen, 
you have a type of ailment. You turn some praising God, you know. You turn some praising God, you know. Or oh, praise the name of Jesus. You have a form of disease. You have a form of illness. Oh, the church is not praising God, man. The church is still not praising God, you know. And you have a physical defect. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. So you have your own infirmity. And I have my own infirmity. So now how do I rejoice in my infirmity? Oh, the church is not praising God. The church is still not praising God, you know. The church is not praising God. And it rejoices in your infirmity. In the church of God, it is much. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Come on, praise the name of Jesus. It is not a better rose in search of God. It is much to rejoice when you have a ailment. Oh, hallelujah, church of God. And I preach like this. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. So listen to me carefully. It is much, amen, to rejoice when you have a physical defect. The church of understanding. The church of understanding me. It takes much, apostle, right. to worship God, to still hold the feet when you have a physical ailment. Hallelujah, somebody. So rejoice in your infirmity. Oh, how do I rejoice? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel like preaching. Oh, oh, praise the name of Jesus. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Come on, praise the name of Jesus. When you have a physical infirmity, when you have a physical defect, it will cause you to wander away from the presence of the Lord. Church of praising God. Church sin of praising God. When you have a physical illness, rejoice in your infirmity. Meditate your mind is on the infirmity. Hallelujah! 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 Many times, church of God, it is easy to say rejoice, but when push comes to shove, ow! Hallelujah! Hallelujah, somebody! Somebody, 
praise the name of Jesus. I praise the name of Jesus. So we learn church of God to use physical infirmities, to use illnesses, and we don't understand the church. Let me calm down a little bit. Because we need to realize that whenever a time we be, we, we become too high-minded, you don't understand me. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. And I mean, I don't say hear me for this one. Right, when you become high-minded, yes. young people, when you become high-minded, when you start to get about God, oh. you put physical in so many yes. Understand yourself. Hallelujah, church of God. Hallelujah, church of God. When you begin to walk away from the presence of God, He will put physical infirmity upon you. Come on, the church of God. Oh, you don't understand this message tonight. All right, that's all right. I'm still gonna preach. I'll oh, yes. pray in the name of Jesus. I'll yes. pray in the name of Jesus. So we need to understand that we can use a physical infirmity or any type of infirmity. That's right. Physical info. 
appears that God must be glorified. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Saint John chapter 9. Mm. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Mm. It says, I must work a work of him.
for he was struck. Who understand where I'm going? Paul was struck by an infirmity. All the church are praising God. I love this message here tonight. I praise the name of Jesus. I praise the name of Jesus. So something had to happen to Paul for him to become humble. Come on, no man. Run too fast. Hallelujah. Everybody has.
glory. To still give him all the praises. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. So we realize why Christ said that my grace sufficient. is now sufficient to keep you in your infirmity. Hallelujah.